Hey everybody, it's Karen Bryant for MMA Heat. I'm talking with Benil Dariush, who is fighting Edson Barboza uh, down in Brazil at UFC Fight Night. And Benil, thank you so much for, for taking the time today. I don't know, uh, you maybe are tapering down your training at this point because your fight's, uh, you know, next Saturday? I'm tapering down a little bit. I, I, I still want to do a little bit more sparring. I like sparring, so I'll probably do some sparring tomorrow and uh, maybe even the week of the fight, but who knows? It, it's... It, <laughs> We get kind of crazy like that. But, yeah, tapering down for sure. For sure. Well, we know that, you know, Fridays uh, are famous at Kings for the for the sparring. So who are you working with? I know you and Kelvin are both on the same card. Kelvin is the main event. So are you guys putting in rounds together? Um, because I know that since Dos Anjos left, that was one of your main sparring partners. So who are you working with? So, uh, Kelvin, we've been definitely doing a lot of rounds together, especially – since I'm a southpaw, yeah. it helps uh, it helps him. His opponent is southpaw, uh, and and his hand speed is is off the chart, so it, nice. it helps me. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work with uh, Giga Chikatse. He's nice. a glory fighter. Yeah, uh, he is. <laughs> he's a he's a contender right now uh, for the 145 belt. Yeah. And, and also Arthur Estrazula, who fights now in ACB. It's the the Chechenian show. Okay. Uh, I think it's one of the biggest shows in Russia. So. Right. Uh, the Burkut. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. Is that but... the one that Fabricio goes over for sometimes? Yes. Yeah. Uh, right, uh, Arthur just came back. Uh, he he fought or not came back, but he fought in California for the ACB show, and he had a first not uh, first round knockout of a of a really tough opponent. So it, it's been uh, it, it's. I've had really good training partners nice. for this fight. Nice. Well, a guy like Giga is going to be really important to you. Obviously, we know uh, Edson Barboza has those kicks, and um, we've seen Giga what, shut people down with liver kicks and everything. I mean, the guy is good. Yeah, I mean, liver kicks. If you watch his first fight in glory, you you, you see him doing rolling thunder, yeah. spinning back kicks. He's he's jumping off the the ring. It's not even a you know like the the pettis kick off the cage, but right. he's doing it in a in a ring. Yeah. He's just. He's doing he's doing a little bit of everything. He's just uh, having fun out there. So uh, when when it comes to sparring with Giga, it's it's definitely it's definitely something special. It's hard to explain. Nice, very nice. Well, obviously we know that um, as I mentioned, you're fighting Edson Barboza, and the guy is very uh, well known for his kicks, for his spinning attacks. So I mean, maybe you can't have somebody that can exactly replicate him, but. Um, how hard do you think it is to get your timing and to be able to get your game going against somebody like Edson, who is so um, he, he doesn't telegraph those moves. You know, he's so fluid. Yeah, I I, I, I agree. He doesn't telegraph, and I think uh, that's why I'm not really in a focus on mm -hmm. his timing so much. I'm gonna focus on my timing and just making sure I go there and uh, be aggressive. Look for all the look for all the openings, uh, even though he doesn't show them too much. And uh, pressure him. There's, I have the ability to take him down and finish him on the ground. I have the ability to knock him out. So I, I think I have more weapons in this fight, and I think that's going to be the difference. He has to watch out for my takedowns. He has to watch out for my uh, my striking, my clinching. It, it, there's just I, I have more more tools, I think, than him, and, and I think that's going to be the difference. Yeah, it will be interesting to see how he – if he adapts his game, knowing, like you said, that the threat is always there for a takedown, and sometimes you really see when people um, get hesitant to throw kicks if somebody is such a great takedown artist. I don't think he's going to be hesitant, just because whenever, even uh, when he fights uh, good grapplers, he threw, still throws kicks. His kicks are so fast, they're not telegraphed, so yeah. I think he's going to continue to throw those kicks. I'm, uh, and... Uh, and I kind of plan on uh, I I've accepted that, and I and I plan on uh, implementing my game plan, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, regardless of his kicks. Right. And are we doing you a disservice anyway by just calling you a grappler? Like you just mentioned, you have a full arsenal. You're a very well-rounded fighter. Um, sometimes, sometimes some people take the words well-rounded as a, a little bit of a diss. Like, oh, I'm not really good at anything, huh? Um, but I think it's a, I think it's a positive thing. I think in this day and age, you've got to be well-rounded. I mean. I feel like I, I, I've, I've shown a lot of striking uh, and, and a good level of striking. Yeah. My last opponent was Rashid. Yeah. He was mostly looking to strike with me. Oh, uh, who is that sorry, little sweetheart? This is, uh, this is my niece, Madison. She uh, she just likes to pop in whenever she Hi, can. Hi, Madison. She, she likes to see who's on the, who's on the phone. Oh, my she, goodness. Uh, she's, she's adorable. <laughs> yeah, she's a bit nosy, too. She needs I to know what everybody else is doing. <laughs> 
But yeah, like I was saying, uh, last two fights have, have been really more more stand up for me. Yeah. I wasn't able to take Rashid down, so I had to stand with him. Yeah. He's considered a, a very good striker, and and to be honest with you, he, he felt like a very good striker. Mm-hmm. Uh, James Vick, yep. uh, again a striker, very tall, yep. very good. Yep. So, uh, and I've been standing with these guys. I, I, so I, I don't know where I'm I'm ranked as far as standing goes, mm-hmm. stand up striking goes, but I, I feel quite good. Yeah. Nice, nice. Well, and you're, obviously, uh, you just mentioned the words uh, ranked. You don't know where you're ranked. Right now, when I just looked before we talked, they have you at number nine. Um, I know you're trying to make that, that climb up. I'm curious what you make of the division right now. Obviously, we know in a couple of days, Tony Ferguson and Habib are going to be fighting. Um, you know, Connor's taking a little bit of time off. But there's a lot of names in there that you have already fought. But I'm wondering, you know, for you, if you get past uh, Edson Barboza, are you looking at a guy like... Um, uh, uh, Eddie Alvarez is that is that somebody you're trying to call out next? Maybe I'm putting that out there. <laughs> not 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 calling out, but like yeah, that would make sense uh, as far as fights go. Um, I, I I'm not, I'm not really so much in search of that title. Mm-hmm. I, I, my crown is another, yeah. but I'm I'm telling you this. Uh, I want to fight the best guys in the world. Mm-hmm. That really is what I'm looking for. I, I'm not. I'm not trying to uh, chase a piece of metal. Mm-hmm. I, I want to fight the best guys in the world. I, I want to enjoy what I do, and I don't want to be uh, plagued by the idea of a of a title shot and an, uh, of a looming title mm-hmm. shot of, of of it never actually uh, coming uh, coming. Mm-hmm. So. I, I just want to, right now, I want to do what I'm doing, and I've been very happy with it. Well, as we know, with a guy like Damian Maya, um, you can quote-unquote do everything right, you know what I mean, and it still may not come to you. Yeah, exactly. I, that's really disappointing for Damian Maya, man. Right. I, I, I really, I, I do believe he deserved that title yeah, shot. Um, this this has happened quite a bit, though, yeah. uh, in the 170 division, actually, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I remember Tyrone Woodley had a few uh, few good fights where I thought he was going to get the title shot. It didn't work out. Yep. So I guess it's patience. Patience is the name of the game because the UFC gets to decide who fights for the title. And that's perfectly fine. I, I'm As long as they continue to give me tough opponents, mm-hmm. I, I, I can't complain. Uh, Eddie Alvarez, a very tough opponent. Yeah. I would be very happy to fight him. That'd be- so it, it just that's all that's all there is for me. Right. If they continue to give me high level guys, I'm very happy. Nice. And did you obviously you're very familiar with um, with Tony Ferguson? He's a guy that um, has fought um, some of your old training partners, and he's a guy that obviously has been around for quite some time. He's a guy who's on the SoCal scene, um, but. Am I correct in hearing that you actually don't think he's going to get past Habib? You're taking you're taking your Magomedov. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna pick. It's so close. <laughs> I and, know. And I, I, I'm leaning towards Khabib just because his grappling is so strong mm-hmm. and, and he's he's been able to implement it every fight yeah. against good strikers, against uh, good wrestlers, against it doesn't really matter who his opponent is. He's yeah. been Im- able to implement his his game. Uh, what what I think uh, where the tides could change is, is Tony's ability to change something in, in an instant, mm-hmm. whether it be an elbow, whether it, it, it be a kick, he he has a, or a submission attempt. Yeah. He has ability to uh, you know change the fight in an instant. It may not be a finish, but uh, the mindset. Yeah. One 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 guy's mindset goes from. Oh, I'm winning the fight. To oh no, he's attacking me, and the other fighter goes from Ray. I was losing, but now he's in trouble. Now it's my turn. So, and I think Tony's very good at that. That I think that's one of his uh, strongest attributes. So, the fight could change, but it, it, if I had to pick, I would pick Khabib. I would, I would definitely favor Khabib. All right. Well, mindset obviously is important. You're going to be in enemy territory taking on Edson Barboza, who does train here in the states. But as we know, obviously Brazilian, you're going down to Brazil. Are you ready? For the Vai Mohairs. I know you've been before. I know you've heard it, but you're going to be walking in there with an American flag draped around you, the enemy. Uh, pretty much, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm ready for that. Actually, last time I was there, it was, uh, I, I kind of got to soak it in a little yeah. bit more. Yeah. Even though they're they're chanting it, it, it really shows their love for the sport. For sure. uh, it's it's they're not it's not love for me for sure, but it shows <laughs> love for the sport. And and in Brazil right now, MMA is I heard is becoming almost as big as soccer. Yeah. People love MMA over there. So right. So 
I take that as a positive, uh, and I try to not think about the fact that it's not for me. <laughs> but, you know, I do believe, since you're part of the King's family, that you are an honorary Brazilian. I mean, I feel like the it happens to you, you get that love anyway because of your affiliation with Cordero and King's. and. For sure. I get a ton of love over there. Yeah. I get a ton of love in Brazil. But when it comes down to it, when I'm, when I'm fighting someone like Carlos Diego Ferreira, yeah. when I'm fighting someone like uh, before the UFC uh, Gilberto dos Santos yeah when I when I'm gonna fight Edson Barbosa I don't blame them they gotta pick their boy like if I go and if I fight uh, in the Syrian and and, and, uh, and the Syrian crowds know Edson they're not gonna cheer for Edson right. they're gonna cheer for me it's it just it is what it is and I'm okay with that for sure but, well you'll have yeah. a partner in crime I mentioned obviously Kelvin Gastelum is in the main event against Vitor Belfort um, how is he doing you know obviously I'm gonna I, I have actually been texting with him and trying to catch up with Kelvin tomorrow but you know people have such a, a concern with him at 85 though he seems like the weight issue is not going to be as big a deal this is a fight that he asked for so in your opinion how is he looking um, in terms of uh, his game plan against somebody like Vitor what, what would be your your estimation of how that fight could go this is the sharpest I've seen Kelvin. Uh, you know, Kelvin came to us, I think I want to say a year, year and a half yeah. ago. And uh, his first camp with us, he kind of, he showed up and, and he started out really slow. Mm -hmm. By the end of the camp, he was, he was good to go and he was in shape and he, and he, he was feeling much better than the beginning of the camp. Yeah. This time, he was good from the beginning good. and he's just gotten sharper and sharper. And, uh, and, and that obviously is an attribute of him showing up to the gym more mm -hmm. and between fights not really taking any time off. Right. I, I'm telling you, man, this kid is has got a big future. I, I'm, I'm really excited to see what he's going to do. Yeah, I love it. I love that. Actually, I feel like both of you, I know his Twitter handle even is on a mission for, uh, you know, for gold. I, I feel like both of you guys are in such great places in your careers, like just like one or two fights away from getting the big shot, you know? You know, I never even think about it. Uh, everybody keeps telling me that that I could be one, one or two fights away from the title. So. It, it, it's kind of wild to think about, but it, it's just it's not it's not what I look for anymore. I yeah. used to like think about the the title so much, and it used to. Uh, it, 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 I mean, I thought about it to the point where I was like. I was getting getting kind of depressed, but I, at this point, man, I, I don't need a piece of metal to feel good about myself. Yeah. I, um, I, I'm chasing a different crown. Right. Very nice. Very nice. Well, one thing, uh, speaking of crown, speaking of how you used to be, I saw a picture on Instagram of you rocking the sweetest fro. Oh, no. You know I'm going to ask you to bring that back, baby. Come on, bring back there. I, I will. Look, I'm, I'm telling you, I want to try to bring it back, but it, it is a lot of work. It takes a long time. Keeping my hair short is just so easy. Plus, I have a lot of gray hairs now. Yeah. I'm going to look so old with a, with a half like a salt and pepper fro. Right. It's just going to look ridiculous. But at the same time, I've never seen myself with a salt and pepper fro. Right. So it might, it might be worth the try. The salt I'll have to it, I'll have to sit down and talk to the boss. Yeah. And the boss being my mother. So nice. I'll, uh, I'll see how that goes. Nice, nice. Well, I think, I mean, I just remember back in the day, remember when uh, Charlie Brenneman, right? When he, he had that flowing, beautiful curly hair and everything. I feel like salt and pepper is going to be very distinguished, Benil. I feel like you could totally work it. <laughs> You know what? I'll try it, but I can't. I'll try. I'll see how far I can get with it, and uh, I'll, I'll let you know when I'm giving up. How about that? I'll, nice. I'll try to go as far as I can, and then if, I, if it's not working, I'll send you a text yeah. saying, "Hey, this is as far as I can get." I'll send you a picture and be like, "I'm done." <laughs> I know, because it will get awkward. It'll be. It'll get real awkward for a little it's, while. It's hard work. I don't know how people with long hair do yeah. it. I it just. It's, it's. I mean. I, it wasn't that long, but once my hair comes into my face and I'm doing this during sparring and everybody's looking at me right. like, what's wrong with this fruitcake? That's when you know you got yourself a little bit of a problem. I so. guess so. I guess so. We could get a corn road for you, though. I mean, there's a lot of options. That sounds, again, like a lot of work. I'm... Uh... I'll try my best. I'll see how far I can get it. Nice, nice, nice. Well, you don't have to worry about the hair too much. I just want you to keep your hands up, uh, stay sound and fit, <laughs> ready for your fight. I think it's going to be a great one. Uh, really looking forward to it, Benil. So keep up the great work, and thanks for taking the time today. Thank you. Take care. See ya.